Okay, this is a short talk introducing R Studio. R Studio is a IDE for developing R programs. So why use R Studio? Because it's tedious to write R code and command line. An old style was basically would create a text file in Vim or Notepad or Emacs and copy paste code onto the R console and run it line by line and then look for mistakes. So what's the advantage of R Studio? You can use multi open multiple files and you can execute lines and basically view variable values and it's color coded and it has a built-in help so it's easy to run code like just click on something and then run that part of the code or function easy to handle files and you can update packages R is made up of a lot of packages unlike GCC and stuff R you'll be constantly upgrading or downloading packages and the other reason you'll find out as you go along so you already seen what R Studio looks like. It's a file viewer, variables and values, the watch, what we call in Visual Studio, the console where you type in commands, which you don't have in Visual Studio, but we have in GDB, or code blocks, and there's a graphic window which shows the graphs and packages and stuff like that. If you see the tabs out here. So there's another view. It's a script you have a script out here, console where you run the code, objects you created and plots. First thing you know is you can type question mark in the console and and a function name to see help about it. You can see or you can just directly type into Google. Google will do spelling correction, that's advantage. And also shows you anything else around the world which might be a helpful if you the manual is too difficult to read. So you can just type help log or question mark log or you can search and help using a string. Or you can use a propos like Emacs. The propos log will show you all the functions using log as a part of the name so what does help contain it contains the description of what a function does say log function how to use the function like showing exponential whatever which base what the and what are the parameters and what kind of what is the return value and related functions and some sample code so usually most people just look at the sample code and also you need to know which package where do you find the code if you need to upgrade the package or something so R Studio help is also has something called command link when you press the tab to, to see a list of variable fu uh, functions available functions starting with unless you just type L O G and, and then you see all the functions starting with log and you press tab just like completion and R Studio is one more thing and at, at the top there are buttons to run you can run the current line or you can rerun the the send all the code back that you ran, rerun the code that you ran before, or source the whole file. So the buttons are there, you just have to use it when you need it. So, what is the R script? R script is a text file that contains your R code. It's like a bash script or Python script, and it is compiled on the fly. It's not, you don't have to compile it and make a uh, call a compiler. You just, and uh, basically, so the advantage of using a text file to keep your code is that you keep a record of everything that happens and you can reproduce your statistical analysis or you can take somebody else's file and run it on a data set or change a data set it's easy to modify and rerun the script so if you want to run a part of the code you just select it and just press Control enter and you you need to keep a copy of your scripts you can save it in your folders disk even gmail it email it to gmail which is pretty good at saving copies of your data or keep it in github and another important thing about your code our scripts is put comments and comments are intention of what you're doing in your code not actually what you're doing and it's a it starts with a hash as you know that and then some comments about it and our studio is color coded you already know that or you can look it up so the thing is the always document the purpose of the code now how it works because it's what is the whole code and still better would be to actually use good variable names and function names and assume that you won't remember anything or somebody else will be looking at your code so R is very terse it's like you can do a lot in one line what would take like 100 lines in Python would take one line in R so comments are essential also you can track changes by putting it in JIT, CVS, Perforce, SVN for version and change tracking. Every time you get change, you put it back into your version control. So you can, if something goes wrong, you can always go back and see the results on that particular day. R also allows you to make workspaces. That means basically, 
you can save your data analysis in our workspace it says everything that you do in our console it's really heavy duty you don't need it for small projects you need it for large projects when you have to save the state of your analysis so the easiest way is to basically if small data sets up to up to megabyte or something would be to just st uh, start our studio load your data analyze it and close it and you can cl uh, clear your workspace with just uh, the rm command for remove remove ls ls equal to list and whatever the ob l list ls contains those are the objects that get removed from the workspace so basically save your r script you don't need to save all the intermediate variables that are created by your uh, running your R scripts. R Studio also has the ability to make projects much like Visual Studio or make file in GCC and basically you have a bunch of files R files in a folder and data files in some folders and you tell R Studio uh, where those files are located and basically you need to keep the output in different folders so that you can do multiple analysis without having to uh, lose track of the data and our file that typically have the extension dot r and how do you create project you just say create project existing directory give it a folder where you want to create it directory and it will create our project but you don't really need to do it if you can just open a file and start doing analysis directly by running the sourcing the file and you can change the directory that you want to create your projects in Okay, the biggest, uh, so projects are not as important as packages. Packages are another way of collect, a collection of R function data, compiled code in a well-defined format and made and shared by some user. And R packages are typically built for some version of R and available from the R repository, Ctran. And how do you find out where does R keep it? You, you type the function search parts. It will tell you where are the packages. And you can say library, it will show you the list of packages installed in your distribution. So basically your R solution comes with some basic packages and you need a lot more depending on what you're doing and you'll find the packages you need by searching on Google and seeing what other people recommend. And you can just give it a vector of string names, package1, package2, packa install.packages and then C is a vector name, vector and then you have a bunch of strings and it will install all of them. Or you can go to R Studio tools, install packages like this, tools, install packages and you'll see all the packages and it's showing the version number of it. You can just select the ones you want and install or upgrade them. For example, a zoo package. If you're looking for a zoo package, you type ZOO and then you see the help on the zoo package. So uh, besides upgrading the package, you need help on the packages it, and it's a separate source. It's a S3 package you can see for regular, regular time series. So that's how you get help on a package. So important packages are the base package, it contains all the R functions, data set, the graphics, splines, stats, tools, utils, and they're like thousands of packages and you just have to uh, learn them as you go along, the ones you need. And the new ones are like dplyr, ggplot, zoo, hmiss, these are for data manipulation, graphics, time series, and sample size computation, and there's just a whole lot of packages around. And finally, references. You can just go to Google and look up Venable Start, Venable uh, Start Method, Zoom, Ick. It's unfortunately it's banned out here for some reason. The ISP thinks it's a, all of Indian ISP thinks it is a R rated site. And UCLA stats or financial are for traders. Okay, that's about it for R Studio. Thank you.